What's up, YouTube? I believe the Creator truly has a master plan for us, and there's a rhyme and a reason for everything. And um, with that being said, I want to say this: that it's time for a change. Um, as you all know, I have been actively job hunting probably for a month now. <laughs> And I mean, just exhausting, like every single tool. Also, what I've been trying to balance with that job hunt is making sure that I find an employer that respects me. Um, I think that I'm worth it. You know, I put forth 110%. And if I put myself in a situation where the employer does not respect me, what it does is it opens the door for other people to not respect me as well. And when that happens, all of the morale, the hard work, enthusiasm that I have goes straight down the drain. And um, I think I have too much skill, too much talent, too much value to allow that to happen. Um, life is a learning process. And what I'm learning um, in the interim is that um, is that even though you have, if you have all the worth, all the skills in the world, it doesn't matter if you're not able to um, make your presence known, if you're not able to stand your ground, because everybody, you know, is out to get their piece of the pie. And if it makes it easy for, the, for them to get their piece by stepping on you, standing on you, or doing irreparable damage, they'll do it, you know. Um, that's the truth of it. Um, society is changing a lot as far as, like I said, you know, with all of these applications I'm putting in, they're having all these different types of tests. And these tests that they're requiring you to take, um, the questioning, like I said, I've been around for 40 years of living, the last about 30 years or so um, working. Um, it, they have changed a lot. The assessment tests are not based on goodness and kindness anymore. They're based on your ability to fit in, to conform. And maybe it has been a slow progression over the years you know, of that happening. Um, what I'm noticing in my interactions online as far as the different websites that I'm on, just hedonistic level websites, the majority of people that I come in contact with have been positive, supportive, encouraging. Then you have the hedonists that are just out for, um, everybody is trying to resolve their issues in different ways. You have some that are trying to resolve them sexually uh, by saying things that are sexually inappropriate. You know, it's good stress relief, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, then you have some that and very few surprised me. I've only had like one abusive person and I banned them. But the thing about it is that after I banned them, I kind of felt bad about it. And the reason why is because that was a, the person that twists that knob the most. That's the person that's most valuable to you because there's a whole population of people just like that person that you don't have access to. That person put themselves in your path. So you have access to meet those challenges. And so I banned them, but, you know, probably I'll get some more. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it may be far and become um, far and in between. Um, my experience today with interviewing, uh, one interview I said, and then, you know, because of the background behind it and because I had another one that was scheduled, I didn't go. And I didn't go because they were close friends. I heard from the manager with the company that I used to work with. And um, so I rushed off to the second interview. And it so happens, God is trying to teach me a le lesson that you can't run, you know what I'm saying, from bullies and things like that. Because this new company is actually affiliated with another old company that I work with. And I was just very open and honest with them. And, you know, they may or may not contact me. He's probably going to call that other company just to see uh, what the prognosis was. And, you know, they're friends too, I hear. So... You know, however, you know, that person decides to paint the picture of me may or may not determine. Um, also, when I went in for the interview, I noticed that, you know, I'm a middle-aged woman. I'm fat. And, you know, I've been buried in a cave job hunting for, like, days on end, back-to-back, -back, nonstop, with very little, like, real human <laughs> interaction. Uh, I had mentors, but they, um, without saying it specifically, just kind of bowed out gracefully. And, you know... I'm the kind of person I always look for the good, so I can say that you know their presence during the time they were with me was very appreciated. Hopefully, they haven't bowed out for, me for good. You know, hopefully, um, I'm going to start a more standardization of my mentoring process, where you know 
this mentor, this day of the week is when I follow up and communicate with them because it's strictly professional. They're not my best friend. They're my mentor. <laughs> so uh, once a week, they'll have a day of the week. And my goal is to get seven mentors, diverse backgrounds to, um, you know, kind of guide me along. You know, I haven't been with my family or friends for a while. Um, and then also, you know, not that what I have isn't good enough, but it's good to have guidance. You know, people that are out in the world doing things that can kind of set the guide rails along for me to be strong and forceful and powerful as who I am, but to, you know, have some type of support going along. So that's that's what I'm doing. I haven't tossed them to the wind. Tomorrow is the first day of the new month. So um, I need to, you know, get my books reconciled, so to say, for this month, which means that um, basically I've exhausted Craigslist already. Um, I looked at Brass Ring, but I don't know if something's wrong with the website or the page that I had saved because that's not working anymore. But um, I'm going to exhaust Career Builder next. I'm going to go through all the websites that I have, exhaust each and every one, and then just keep rotating around. That's my job for the rest of the night. Tomorrow, what my job is, February 1st, new day, new month, um, Saturday, I am going to... Um, the first thing I gotta have my I gotta have my me moment. Um, so I'm going to get out and I'm gonna do an outside vlog so I can have some new pictures for February. Um, what I need to do I need to find something a productive way to do things like something productive. So hopefully in my job seeking tonight I'll find a job that I have to go to tomorrow. Um, and on my interviews and so forth I haven't been taking you know my laptop and all this that and the other because. I don't know, I think I just, I'm just so wearied and burdened by this job and thing that I'm kind of tired of it. So I just, you know, if I bring my laptop, I'm going to be like, oh, thinking, 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 job hunt, job hunt. After I leave this interview, I got to go here and, you know, see if I can job hunt some more. I can wait till I get back and do that. I'm just relaxed. little disappointment about myself because after the interview today, I did go to the grocery store because I had absolutely no food. Well, I had ramen noodles, but that requires I'm cooking it right now with the job hunt thing. I ain't doing no type of cooking. So um, I'm disappointed in myself because I bought some bacon, some already cooked bacon, and two jars of pickles that were on sale, and they were hot and spicy, but I ate them anyway because I needed to. Um, but I don't know what, you know, the future holds for me as far as what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I don't know. You know, just little things like that. Um, but I want something that's going to be easy but also I want something that's going to be feeling easy and feeling um, tomorrow my focus is because like I said I'm clearing out the job hunt tonight my focus tomorrow is going to be um, getting some good positive um, new month you know new look new month type thing going on for tomorrow uh, maybe my out and about time will be going to go pick up something to eat and then uh, when I come back completely cleaning everything out like just pulling every single item out and putting it all back in getting rid of, rid of stuff that's too tight that's too small that don't fit it's no need to have it if it doesn't fit you know my body shape is a lot different now you know I got a belly which I didn't have before so even if something would normally fit it just is kind of tight around the bottom half so that's not cool but um just getting rid of a lot of junk I don't need, making sure I have my hands, put my hands on the things I do need. Once I get everything um, nice and clean and um, absolutely perfectly clean, then what I'm going to do from that point forward is I'm just going to relax for the Saturday. The Sunday I start all over again um, with the job hunts, with the networking, and all of that. You know, if I want to do some um, no blogging, no like blogging or none of that stuff on Saturday. It's all about cleaning up. I can do video blogs, but no like writing blogs. Um, no more exhausting myself. Because when 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 do you when do you stop? You know, when the job hunting thing, when do you stop? You don't it's like you don't have a break and you can't really afford yourself a break because if you're not working, you really can't do that. You can't, you know, so it's like you're working twenty four hours around the clock and when you're not you're stressed. But I know when to stop. When to stop is when you are stressed, you've come to a close, you've exhausted every avenue, you know, that's when to stop. And you take us I'm taking the break time, stop time between um websites. Like this is my stop time, my finished Craigslist. My next go get 'em is Craig uh career builder. 
Now, you know, what I do need, I do need like, you know, distractions, <laughs> you know, I don't have any distractions. I need like people in the interim, you know, that's why I have all the, I'm not sitting and chatting, you know, or nothing, or anything like that. I'm working on my work, but I have those things open so that when it just comes to the point like, oh my gosh, Musa, I can look and somebody say, oh, good job, keep, keep it up, you'll get a job or whatever the encouraging word is. I need it or if there's something nasty you know which is very rare like I said I only had one person kind of be nasty but if that's that's there that's also a challenge for me to uh, open the door that this is what the real world is you got some nasty folks out there you know so I appreciate all that because it, if not for those people in the background um, I'd be closed off in this little tube you know so you know I appreciate you know all the support I appreciate anybody that stopped by and happened on my page by mistake I appreciate anyone that you know asked me what I was up to and because I was busy job hunting I just copied and pasted a link and they came I appreciate anyone that sends me links to whatever they're trying to sell or whatever their product is and made it so that I had to respond look you know if you I'm looking for jobs if you have an active job send me the detailed information you know and I'll kind of go from there um, all of those people, for the people that's trolling the internet because they can afford to and they're just sending nasty, uh, like, perverted messages, you know, more power to you because you have the <laughs> ability to do that. But when that ability ends, you know, you you know, it's going to come a time when you're going to be pounding the pavement just like me. So um, I just want to say blessings to everybody. Thank you so much for the love and support, you know. Those that express it, you know, those that are watching behind the scenes and not even speaking on it and not making their presence known, you know, those that maybe their intent at viewing my videos or um, communicating with me, um, maybe for work, maybe it's part of this big old spy association or whatever. But for those of you that may, and I, you know, I realize that exists, you know, but for those of you that may be a part of that, and for some reason it touches a human aspect where you actually understand, you know. The human aspect of what's going on and you can appreciate it which scares me a little bit because I know that the side is moving more and more to taking away the human aspect of everything you know which is somewhat somewhat with that one hater was saying you know oh you know you can't be uh, miserable this that and the other yes you can that's part of being human it's okay to be that's what makes us grow you know it's okay to have flaws and I said it and I meant it. it it is absolutely okay to have flaws it's part of being human it's part of your natural right, you know, it's part of adjusting and growing. Nobody's ever perfect, and I like it that way. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go on and do the career builder portion, and I'm going to be checking for my little distractions here and there. So God bless y'all. And in February, oh my God, it's a whole new month. So we don't know what holds, but um, the thought that I had for today was, you know, I can't, I really cannot focus on the past. It's really, and and people have said it, and it's something when it, you get that moment, they call it the aha moment, but the moment for me when you realize it to be true in your life, I can't worry about the past. It's gone, it's done, it's spent. I can't worry about the future because right now, now needs to be taken care of. So that's what I'm doing. I'm focusing on the now, and whatever happened back then is done. Whatever's going to happen tomorrow, it ain't here yet. I need to take care of right now and use this time as wisely as I can. And giving love and honor and respect to myself because I deserve it. And um, like I said, I'm blessed to y'all for keeping me motivated and um, for being in the thorns in my side, you know, for those that are, which aren't, that don't have any because I had one, but I banned them, which I shouldn't have did. But God bless y'all. Have a good night.